So in some cases, you might want to have several databases for your application. Uh, I don't know, for example, you might want to store uh, some particular model objects like for a class student in a separate database called student database. The exact reasons on why you uh, would like to uh, use different databases for one application are different, but I would like to show you how to actually do that. And uh, to define the second database, we do it in settings PI. So I already have here my default database that I set up and just using the comma, I can say, for example, students database, and I already prepared actually um, database in my Postgres uh, backend. So that was called something like that. And now basically uh, what I can do is I can for example, check if there are any migrations to make. And if not, for example, I migrate. And when I uh, write this manage PI migrate, I migrate only in the default database. And if I need to migrate also in, in the uh, uh, newly defined database, for example, students, I need to specify that as as like this and you can see that i have just defined this new database so it didn't uh, perform any migrations before that so now when i migrate uh, i basically uh, applying all the migrations including uh, migrations in searching uh, application so yeah now after we migrated manually uh, using this database option. Now we can actually use this database. And in order to do that, uh, I already run the server and let's go to shell. And so I have this students it's not students, it's student. So yeah, I have this uh, student model. And basically, let's check if we, if we have any objects there. Oh, well, we don't have any objects, so let's create one. Name John, for example. Let's save it. And now, of course, we have this student John in our database. And as you could see, uh, here we have this name, the default name. And basically, if we define this, and we usually want to define it, uh, you have to have some particular reasons to not have default database. But usually we have default database and all the operations uh, that we perform are performed under this uh, default database. And in order to actually uh, use any particular database, uh, we actually need to say using and specify the name uh, after the uh, manager objects. So student objects using default all. And again, as I said, uh, when we create the student, uh, we use the default database. So now if we, if we say uh, using default, we will get the same student. But for example, as you remember, we have second database students and we don't have any anything there saved because uh, as I said, 
by default we are saving objects into default database and if we want to actually save it so for example we have this student and we want to save it to different database we say save using students and now again uh, we can see that we uh, saved this uh, guy into this database too uh, because this is done automatically when we create the object and basically if you want to avoid that uh, we can already here uh, say using students create name josh2 and save again also uh, using students database and now we can see that uh, we didn't save anything into default database uh, meaning that john2 will be only in students database and so you can uh, you need to actually be careful with creating a, a object using particular database and then saving it uh, using some other uh, database so you need to be careful with that and basically when we create a student and we save the student we have this object s which already have a primary key and we basically can actually save it also using for example default database but we might encounter the problem here because s already has a primary key after we saved it and that means that if we save it on the other database um, the object with the with the same uh, primary key will be overridden in order to actually uh, avoid that we kind of reload primary key and then after that only after that uh, we can actually uh, safely save it here and again now we can see that the default database has jake and students database also has jake and we can also delete uh, using a, a particular uh, database for example we can get uh, using uh, a student's database we can get the guy with the name jake and we can delete it and we can see that we uh, haven't deleted it from the default database but we deleted it from the student's database as we expected it uh, to be done